Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm going to be bringing a very, very important message today. Well, I feel like uh, the world is being lulled back to sleep. And while uh, everyone is listening to the lullaby and drifting off to sleep, uh, these folks are still, you know, taking folk out under the radar. Now, some of these things we've heard over the years, but we just kind of let them go into our ears and out the other side. I think it's very very, very um, important that we pay very close attention to these things because we are starting to see the decline of a lot of people's health. And you can point to so many different factors and we're always saying, okay, it's in the food. But what if I told you it's not just in the food? What if it was coming from other areas as well? Not just the air that we breathe even, but the clothes on our backs. Think about this for a moment. Everything that we consume, that we wear, that we drink, that we breathe in some cases. And the reason why I'm bringing in breathing because a lot of the things that are made in our homes, um, they are giving off some type of fume or something. But everything that we are living around is made by corporations who only care about the bottom line. That's all they care about. And so I think more investigation needs to be made into how we're living. Anyway, I want you to take a look and a listen at this uh, very short video clip. And it's gonna talk about the clothes that we put on our backs and how um, you are being affected by it. Take a look and a listen and I will be right back. Team of Canadian science and chemists from Montreal examined the exposure of 1,169 postmenopausal women to about 300 chemical substances. What they found and reported in 2010 was that of the 300 substances that were analyzed in this epidemiological study, exposure to acrylics and nylon demonstrated the greatest association with breast cancer in women 50 to 75 years of age. These risks peaked for exposures before the age of 36 and increased with each additional decade of exposure. So the longer you wear these synthetic fabrics that are dyed with chemicals and other chemicals are put in there as antiperspirants and anti-mold stuff, the greater your risk of breast cancer. And this risk was substantial, they say. Okay, so you heard that report, right? You heard that report. Well, I believe that there is a lot of truth to what they're talking about. Um, I have bought a bunch of Carmasols recently and I noticed that even after washing them several times, there was a strong, a strong chemical odor in them. Now I saw that they were or they were from China, so I said, you know what, um, you know, straight out of the plastic, you can smell it, right? And it didn't smell like plastic; it smelled like a strong chemical. So I washed the Carmasols. After the first wash, you can still smell the ke the chemicals. After the second wash. It wasn't until the third wash that it was only like a small, faint hint of the chemical smell. And I said, this is ridiculous. What are these people doing? So we've got to know that there is something up with the manufacturing and the processing of these clothes and also with the minds of the people who are doing these things intentionally. <clears throat> Something is going on. So we've got to figure out how to take back control of these very, very personal things. Now I know many will say, well, I don't know how to make clothes. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to make fabric. I guess what I'm saying is we've got to take a more active role in trying to figure certain things out. There are organic uh, cotton blend clothing. There are other things that are out there. There are organic laundry detergents and all kinds of things. When you look at the alternative in which basically these people are just taking folk out, folk are getting sick from this toxic, toxic stuff that they're selling, calling it merchandise and products. What are we supposed to do? I know for me, I don't want to make excuses. I know it might be difficult and it's not as easy as it sounds. I get that. 
but don't we have to do something? I feel like we have to do something, family. Something must be done. Because these people who make this stuff, they can care less about you, your family, your health, none of it. They don't care. They're just trying to sell a product. And in some cases, the workers who are helping them do this, they're just trying to get through the day so that they can get a paycheck at the end of the week. That's what it boils down to. And we've got to say to ourselves that we are a lot more important than people getting through their day or trying to get a paycheck at the end of the week. We've got to determine within ourselves that we mean more than that. Our family means more than that. We're living in some very strange times right now. And I feel like the wool has been pulled off of a lot of people's eyes. Um, I feel like there is a great reveal happening. I feel like the Most High is really, really exposing the darkness that exists in this world. A strange darkness. And with that being said, don't close your eyes to the truth. Because the Bible tells us that when you know the truth, the truth will make you free. Right? And so the opposite of that is if, if truth makes you free, then lies will bind you up and bring you unto captivity again. So anyway, this report um, is something that um, we've been hearing stirred about for quite some time now. Um, this guy just, you know, kind of um, outlined it as relates to women and their health. But um, a lot of people have been talking about this stuff over the years, and I think it's time that we take heed. What do you think? Is there some truth to what's being said? We need to get our hands out of our ears, stop twiddling our thumbs, and pay attention to what's going on. The Bible says, be not ignorant of Satan's devices, lest he gets an advantage over you. Anyway, I am done with this video. I'll leave your comments in the comment section below. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the video, share, like, do all of that good stuff so that we can get picked up in the algorithms as well. But until the next live or the next video, I want you all to stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.